Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Blue Ox Patriot Supplemental Braking System here on a 2022 Ford F-150. So there's two main types of braking systems on the market. Portable system, which is what the Blue Ox Patriot is, and we have permanent systems. Now permanent systems are great, however they require a very lengthy installation. They also require some significant modifications to your vehicle. With a portable system, you're not gonna have that initial lengthy installation, and most of the time, there's gonna be no modifications to the vehicle required whatsoever. Now, with a permanent system, however, it is gonna be a little bit easier each time you need to get in and tow your vehicle, because it's usually just a flick of a switch or just simply pressing the button. With a portable system there, there is a little bit of setup involved each time you need to tow. So in regards to how the Patriot actually works, this is known as a proportional braking system. Now, if you've towed any trailers with electric brakes, you may or may not be familiar with this term. And basically what this refers to is, this refers to how the brakes are being applied in our towed vehicle here. So basically it's gonna match the intensity of how we're applying the brakes in our motorhome. So let's say we're out on the highway, somebody cuts in front of us, we really need to slam on our brakes and come to a fast stop. Well, that's exactly what our unit is gonna do. It's gonna quickly apply the brakes inside our vehicle here, allowing us to come to a smooth and safe stop. Now, to the contrary to that, if we're just moseying around in town, we're just coming to a slow stop at a stoplight, we obviously don't want to send a ton of force to the brakes in our vehicle here and potentially lock them up. Well, the Patriot's not going to do that. It's going to sense the braking force in the motorhome, and it's going to apply that same force here in the vehicle. Now, one of the issues with a lot of the different braking systems on the market is they kind of leave you blind when you're inside your motorhome. Some of them have little monitor lights that get mounted in the rear view mirror, but a lot of the times you don't actually have a way to look at those, and they're kind of hard to see in the daytime. So being able to monitor the braking system, that way you can really tell what's going on. We've all seen those horror stories of people dragging their towed vehicle behind their motorhome with the brakes locked up. And we don't want to be one of those people, and Blue Ox has thought of that, because we actually have a very handy handheld monitor that gets mounted inside the motorhome that lets us know exactly what's going on with our braking system. So here's what that monitor looks like. Now this is going to come with the power cord, the actual monitor itself, and then a little stand that we can mount on the dash of our motorhome. So this monitor is going to allow us to adjust some settings of our braking system. And as we said earlier, it's also going to let us know what's going on should the brakes be accidentally applied with the braking system in our vehicle. So we have a couple different options here. Number one, we just have the backlight setting. We can increase or decrease that depending on if we're driving in the day or night. Over here, we have our force setting. So this just allows us to increase or decrease the force sent to our brakes in our vehicle. And we also have a manual override button. So this is gonna physically apply the brakes in our vehicle there, no matter how we're traveling. And then we obviously have our menu button here that allows you to fine tune a few more settings. So in summary, I really, really like the Blue Ox Patriot. This is probably one of the leading portable braking systems on the market and it has been for a long time. Now, if you're unsure between a permanent and a portable system, me personally, I like portable just because they're so much easier to install and you don't have to worry about hacking into your vehicle like some of the permanent systems require. So me personally, I would definitely go with a portable system. And if I had to choose, it would be this one. Blue Ox has a longstanding reputation of making a very quality braking system. This one here is gonna ensure that you're getting nice, smooth and even braking inside the motorhome there, keeping everyone, you and your family safe. Now, best part of all, this product has a two-year warranty and it is made right here in the USA. So the first step of our installation, we need to find a way to mount a breakaway switch on the front of our vehicle. Now, depending on what base plate kit you have, this may have integration for a breakaway switch. Some of them do. This is a Blue Ox one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any integration for the breakaway switch, so we're gonna have to come up with some mounting of our own. Now, I'm gonna be mounting this over on the driver's side. And on the bottom, we have our metal bumper here. And on the bottom of this is a plastic shield. So I'm basically just gonna take a screw and I'm gonna drill through the bottom of this bumper there and attach it with a nut and bolt so it's gonna hang down kinda of like this. And then our wire here, I'm gonna tuck back through this opening and then we're gonna be running it inside the vehicle from there. I'm gonna take the plug end and I'm gonna plug it in to the harness that comes in your kit here so the ends are gonna match and they're only gonna go in one way. Now once I've done that, I'm gonna take the other end, the male end, kinda of has like an aux cord looking port on there. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna feed that through the tow hook cutout. Open up your hood and what we're gonna be looking for is a cavity beside the air dam over on the driver's side and the headlight. 
So what we need to do is we need to fish that wire up through here into the engine bay that we ran through the bumper earlier. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to take a piece of airline tubing. If you have a plumb bob that you could use, a wire hanger, anything that you could shove down there and get a straight shot all the way down. Because basically once we get our line down there, we're going to tie our plug to that and pull this back up into the engine bay. So I'm just going to take a piece of airline tubing I have now and route it down through that opening as best as possible. Here's where our airline tubing came out at and basically we're just going to take the plug on the end of our wiring harness and I'm going to use some electrical tape and tape it to that airline. Now we'll take our airline tubing and I'll go ahead and pull it up into the engine bay. Take our wire here and I'm going to route it up and over the cross member section here. There is a, an existing wiring here, so I'm going to go ahead and take a zip tie and tie it to this, and I'm just going to continue working my way along the inside of the fender to this area here, where there's going to be a grommet we'll show you in a second. So we've got our wire routed inside the end of the fender here. We went under the airbox lid. I have a couple zip ties here securing it to some existing wiring. And here's where it's going to end. You can see we have plenty of extra here. So basically, our light gray grommet that's attached to the firewall just sort of directly between the fender and the brake booster or the brake reservoir rather. We need to access that grommet so we can throw our wire through there. Now it's going to be kind of hard to access inside the engine bay so we're actually going to go inside the cab of the vehicle up and underneath the dash and we're basically going to be puncturing that grommet so we can stick the plunger end of our breakaway switch through there. So here's that large grommet that we've seen in the engine bay here and we're just under the driver's side floorboard. You can see just directly beside the brake pedal is that large grommet. So we're going to take a nice pointy sharp screwdriver and we're just going to puncture it away from the wiring harness obviously through that grommet. So now that we have a hole made with our screwdriver, I'm going to come back with some airline tubing that we were using earlier and I went ahead and cut it at a really sharp angle so it's nice and pointy. And I'm going to try to stick it through that same hole that we stuck our screwdriver through. So now that we have our airline pulled up through here, we're just going to take our plug and tape it to the end of the airline and then we'll pull our airline tubing back into the cab of the vehicle. So once we have our line pulled all the way through, I'll just go ahead and remove it from our helper airline. And then we're pretty much just ready to plug in our braking system. First going to start by moving our seat all the way back, as far back as possible. And if you have any floor mats, you'll want to go ahead and take those out as well. Then we're going to set our unit into position inside the driver floorboard here. And then we're going to actually attach the brake claw to the brake pedal. So there's going to be a little pinching mechanism on the back of the claw. Pinch that to lock it in place. Slide it over the brake pedal and then press the button at the top and it's going to lock down. Now at this point, we can adjust the legs on the bottom of our unit here. So basically, we just want this unit to sit as level as possible. The brake pedal is kind of higher up there on this F-150, so I'm going to extend the legs so it's a little bit more level, just like so. Now we can go ahead and plug everything in. So I'm going to take the breakaway switch, plug it into the breakaway port on the front of the unit there. Then I'm going to take the 12-volt power outlet, and I'm going to plug this into the 12-volt power outlet on the vehicle. And if we have power to the controller, we should see that red light come on on our outlet. Next, we're going to go ahead and adjust our seat stiffener here. So we're going to start by loosening this thumb screw on the back and we're going to be moving this up so our seat can push against us a little bit better. So now we're going to butt our seat to the back of the stiffener here. And again, we don't want to put too much pressure. We just want to barely touch it. And that's good there. Now we're going to go ahead and go through the setup procedure. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the setup button on our unit. And there we go. Once we get that solid green light, that lets us know that our unit is set up and working correctly. If you get any other color or sequence of light, you'll need to reference your owner's manual to troubleshoot any potential issues. So now we're ready to hook up the rest of our flat toe components, such as our tow bar, our lighting, wiring, and everything else, and we're ready to hit the road. 
That's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Blue Ox Patriot Supplemental Braking System here on a 2022 Ford F-150.